Hello, my name is Paris Rezaei and welcome to my kitchen here in always sunny Southern California. Happy Nowruz. I hope you enjoy this beautiful spring whenever you are. Today in this session, I want to go and show you how to bake a beautiful and delicious Persian cookie called Numberenji. Numberenji is made out of rice and so we can call it rice cookie. As different regions in Iran make it in a different ways and they all have their own twist. As I myself has my own twist to it. I call them botanical rice cookie and you'll see why. So to make the rice cookie, we definitely need one and only one type of flour, which is rice flour. So if you are someone who's trying to avoid gluten, this cookie is for you because there is no gluten in rice flour and you definitely are going to enjoy um, eating it with your coffee or your tea or you just like have it as a snack. Uh, you can make it vegan or you can make it vegetarian. Today in this session, I'm gonna use eggs and butter, so our version of numberenji or rice cookie is not vegan, but it is gluten-free. But one very important uh, aspect about gluten-free items I want, I really want to emphasize right now here is um, when you say gluten-free, you only mean gluten-free ingredients unless your kitchen is gluten-free certified or gluten-free friendly kitchen, meaning Everything in your kitchen has to be gluten-free and like clean. Even a little bit of cross-contamination in your kitchen can cause that food have gluten in it. So if you are baking something and you're referring it as a gluten-free for your loved ones or for yourself, you always need to remember gluten-free product is different than gluten-free ingredients. So let's just be clear one more time. Today I'm going to make rice cookie with gluten-free ingredients, okay? So for that, I'm gonna use eggs. You have, you all have the recipe um, available to you. And we're also going to use butter, clarify butter. I'll show you and I explain more what it, what it means. Um, we definitely are going to use cardamom. Cardamom is one of the most famous Persian spices. If you are Persian or if you have a friend who is Persian, you definitely have cardamom in your kitchen cabinet. That is your good friend in the kitchen. We have saffron. I'm going to add saffron. You don't have to, but like it's just like take it to another level. And I'm also going to use some rose water to give that extra flavor. Again, you're Persian, you have specific spices that you always use, cardamom, saffron, rose water, and um, cinnamon sometimes a little bit, but these are like very common in Persian kitchen and we are going to use them to make our rice cookie even more tastier. We are going to use some powder sugar. You, you can substitute that with just granulated sugar, but I do not recommend it. So use powder sugar, makes your uh, cookie a little bit softer and like more pleasant to eat. And what else? I guess that's it. Oh. Oh yeah, you're going to separate eggs first. So, but so the ingredients are rice flour, butter, eggs, spices, and powdered sugar, and that's it. So step one is you need to separate um, yolk and white in two different bowls, and we are going to beat them separately. So, I'm going to start beating my white, and I'm going to put that aside to make sure that I am done with that. Once you're done beating your egg whites, it is going to be look like that. And this is the fun part, especially if you have kids at home, so they always love this. So if you rotate upside down, it won't fall. And this means that your egg white is done. So I'm gonna use the same whisk. And now we are going to beat our yellow part, yolk part with powdered sugar. How much powdered sugar you're gonna use? 
I know that sometimes you really try to avoid using lots of sugar, but this is not the point. This is not the time that you can do that. So be generous. So you don't need to just go flat. Just be a little bit generous like, like that. And we are going to use two cups, pretty much one cup for every um, egg yolk that you have in that bowl. So I have two egg yolks. I'm going to use two cups of two good cups of powdered sugar. So we're gonna let that beat together. Before I start running this bowl here, so I need to explain a little bit about butter and how you are going to clarify butter. You are more than welcome to use any butter that you like, but to clarify a butter, you have to let it melt and then let it seat. And then you see that a little bit of a white foam start forming on top of the butter. Like very patiently, spoon by spoon, you need to remove that foam. You can save it for another for another dishes. I'll I'll explain later, but um, you definitely want to take that out. What it does, it benefits the the cooking process. You can now bake in a higher temperature. Um, the butter doesn't burn that easily that easily, and it, the the texture will be better. And these are just some benefits of that. So. You have that butter and then you start running your bowl. This we have powder sugar and we have egg yolk in this bowl and our egg white is already beaten and it's sitting there. What else I need? I need rose water here. One good cup of rose water. I need some good cardamom. I like to be generous when it comes to cardamom. I like the flavor of it smells so good you need to grind that with just like a coffee grinder and then you definitely need to use some good saffron so how to brew saffron you're going to grind your saffron with one sugar cube let's say one good spoon one good teaspoon of saffron and you're going to put it in a grinder and then you add one a sugar cube to it and then let that grinder run for a while like good two minutes and then you get that powder looking um, saffron this is saffron and also sugar cube so once you have that you're going to use just one little teaspoon or just a tip of a teaspoon of that saffron and you're gonna add it to it to just a glass and that has one ice cube in that. As ice cubes start melting, the flavor and the color of saffron start showing up and we, we, that's how we know that this, the saffron start blooming. And once the ice cube completely melted, then you can use saffron and it will be look like that. It's very easy, you just need to just let that ice cube melt away and then you can use it. Make sure that you get your spatula and take that bottom of the, this bowl out. Okay. And then let it run for another 10 seconds. And now we are going to add our butter which is room temperature while this is running. Okay. Once you add all the butter, now you're gonna go ahead and you add your rose water. It's very easy, you guys. Now you're gonna add your saffron. If you want to get everything with like saffron infused. And now you're going to add the white, the foamy white. a 
at the last step is one good full spoon of cardamom you're gonna add to this it smells fantastic already and the color yellow is very pretty I'll show you and I'm gonna add like a little bit more as I said I love the taste of cardamom so you stop that mixer and you're gonna give that a good stir making sure you get everything that is stuck in the bottom of this bowl you're gonna take it out so this is a good kind of eight cups and I'm going to add that to my bowl little by little I can smell the rice flour here. I can smell the saffron. I can smell the cardamom and the rose water. This cannot get better than this. This cookie is really delicious and very pretty. Specifically the way that I make it. it makes it very nice and pretty. So stop that mixer, get your spatula, and give that a good stir here. And one more minute. As you can see, I'm not going to use all of my eight cups as I can tell because I lost a little bit of the egg whites in the process and um, I can tell that my dough is kind of thick and like it has enough of the, um, the flour so you definitely do not need to add more and you're going to stop it right here. So from this point forward we need to use our hands so feel free to use your hands while you're dealing with this cookie from this point forward so rule number one most of the persian doughs after you make them they need to rest because they are tired and so so does this cookie so you definitely need to let that sit for a good eight hours like over the night that it can get some rest before you start playing around with it I know some people just like go ahead and roll it and start shaping it so you are just gonna get some part of this right and we are going to roll it out we just need to take that little moment and take this away from here okay so now you're gonna use ro your roller just if that dough is rested enough then this is going to be a much easier process but for now, just get a little bit of the dough and use your roller and make it flat. I would say a good one centimeter and then you can use any kind of cookie cutter that you like. I personally like that round one and just cut it. And like that. You are going to use a good spatula and take it, put it on your sheet tray, which is already covered with the parchment paper. And 335 degree Fahrenheit on a middle rack 
for 10 minutes or 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes, depends on your oven. So make it another your play around with it. And use your roller, make it flat. And use the cookie cutter, any shape. I like this shape the best. And then once you do this with that rest of the dough, you're gonna pop it in the oven. Once again, 335 degree Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Once that step is done and that 12 minutes, you gave that 12 minutes and it's cooked and it's ready to go, then we are going to move to the, the, to the next step, which is this step. Now fun begins. Okay, this is your cookie. It's been cooked and it's been cold and this is how it look like. It's round and it's kind of thick, like one centimeter, right? Once it's like that and it's out of the oven, I just go ahead and cover that surface with one very thin layer of royal icing. You can definitely use any type of recipe of royal icing. You can find a very good royal icing recipes all around the internet and you can use any of them. There is no tip or hint in that part really. A step, except that you need to have that technique to put that icing because these cookies are small and it takes a good while for them, for you to cover them. So once you put that royal icing on top, you let that royal icing get cold, I mean get dry for like good eight to 10 hours or over the night or 24 hours. And now your cookie is ready to, that you can start painting on it. So for that, I need to give you some little hints. Okay, let me grab my chair as I need to sit down. And I'm gonna show you how I paint these little cookies. It's very fun, it's very, very smoothing, and it's kind of meditation. And you're gonna love that process. So in this little tray, I have a little bit of that royal icing, the white one. It's just like nice and tray. Once you cover it with plastic, it stays like that for a good year, for a good day. And then this one is the one that I already mixed with my desired color that I want to use. You're gonna use a little brushes, depends on the level of the technique of you have for painting, you can really paint anything you want on that surface. You definitely um, are going to have lots of fun. You definitely can be very creative. There are so many different pigments available, edible pigments that you can use and you can, um, you can buy and you can use to create any kind of painting that you want on that surface. This is ready, this is like a white, nice paper that you can start drawing on it and just be creative. So, I have, but for how to use these pigments, you, you need to buy them from like any kind of the stores that they sell like baking supplies and uh, you get your favorite colors. Just a little bit goes a long way. Just take just a little, little bit of that. So this would be good for like a good 200 cookies based on the based on the type of flowers that I'm gonna use. And then you are need, you do need to buy a, um, what we call um, um, grain alcohol. This is an alcohol that contains 70% um, uh, alcohol and um, you, this is the best thing you can use to kind of start painting on any type of cookie and this is a technique that is very popular among cookier, but no one has done it on a rice cookie. 
and I thought why not so this is our beloved rice cookie let's just make that even prettier so I have three different type of flowers that I use that I kind of draw all the time and one is tulip the second one is lavender and the third one I call it um, tea leaf so this is the tulip that I'm drawing right now and I'm gonna show you one lavender again you need you can be creative and there is no no limit to this mix colors have fun with it really this is a very enjoyable process You can use different brushes and that's how I draw my little lavender and my little rice cookie which I like the most and I'll show you and then for this one I do very simple brush stroke and I create a little tulip shape you have if specifically if you are living in Iran and you are benefiting of having two weeks of vacation so you definitely need to try this it's very joyful and you can be very very creative creating whatever you like so this is the rice cookie that normally you don't see it look like this so it has icing it has painting on them and it has saffron it has cardamom it's delicious it's fresh and that little um, royal icing on top of it to me it's it's kind of a look like it tastes like that sugar cube when you dip it in a in your hot tea and then you put it in your mouth if you're Persian you know exactly what I'm saying so you have sugar cube you dip it in your hot tea and then you eat it so that royal icing it gives you the same exact texture when you try to eat this one it's a little bit chewy and um, but it's definitely very very delicious and that lots of flavor you get from the bottom it's kind of married very nicely with that um, icing on top and then it's very pretty even for presentation so that's how you make your rice cookie go ahead and try it out you have the recipe um, you um, can always reach me on my instagram or on my um, email on my website and you can ask me your questions if you have any further questions I would be happy to help you uh, making your rice cookie perfect and pretty and um, I hope you enjoy this session and I'll see you soon and enjoy your springtime thank you so much this, was, this is Paris Rezaei and I see you soon